Well, good afternoon. How have, you, have you ever felt like you needed a recenter button in your life? Yeah. Well, if you use a map on your phone or computer and you sort of stray off the path of your destination, there's a recenter, recenter button that you can push that'll bring you back to where you need to be. Well, wouldn't that be great to use in life? When things start to feel off track or not where they should, just boop, back to where you need to be. Well, if you think about it, all of God's holy days have a reset and recenter quality to them. Each year, they help us focus on specific aspects of his plan and his purpose for mankind. So today, let's review how atonement helps us to reset, refocus, and recenter our spiritual perspective regarding generosity. Well, atonement is different from the other holy days because we are specifically instructed to fast for 24 hours, which is no food and no drink. But why do you fast? What's the purpose? There are many physical health benefits to fasting, one of them being sort of like a physical body reset. Your body is allowed to rest from its normally scheduled program of digesting food and, and fixing your body and it can focus more on the maintenance and healing tasks. But what's the spiritual reason for fasting? What does God say about it? There is a passage that provides some insight into a fast that is pleasing to God, and we can look at that in Isaiah 58. If you turn to Isaiah 58 and verse 3. Isaiah 58 and verse 3, it says, Why have we fasted, they say? This is the Israelites speaking and you have not seen. Why have we afflicted our souls? And you take no notice. In fact, in the day of your fast, you find pleasure and exploit all your laborers. Indeed, you fast for strife and debate. So this is sort of arguing and fighting amongst each other. And to strike with the fist of wickedness. And you will not fast as you do this day to make your voice heard on high. So this is God listening uh, the reasons why just fasting alone is not a good reason if these other aspects of character are not addressed. So this also gives us an opportunity to reflect on what God says here to see if we are doing any of these actions so we can correct them as well. Let's continue in verse 6. Is this not the fast that I have chosen? to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry, and that you bring to your house the poor who are cast out, when you see the naked that you cover him, and not hide yourself from your own flesh? Then your light shall break forth like the morning, your healing shall spring forth speedily, and your righteousness shall go before you, the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call out, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry, and he will say, Here I am. So we just read about freedom, clothing, food, housing. You know, God really wants his people to help meet the basic needs of others. He wants us to shift our perspective and focus from inward to outward and to have the mindset of giving. God is the one who gives us everything we need. He gives us food and clothing, a place to live, life and breath. He wants us to emulate how he gives so gener generously. And it's more than just meeting physical needs. God also gives us faith, grace, redemption, salvation, and his spirit. And his spirit is a spirit of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Physically fasting can help us to remember those who really do have great physical needs to be met and what we might be able to do about it. Fasting also helps us spiritually reset and refocus on how we can have a mindset of generosity like our Father in heaven. Physically fasting and being hungry helps us to feel that spiritual hunger to focus on Jesus and his righteousness. Jesus said in Matthew 5, verse 6, 
Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Jesus says, you will be blessed if you seek righteousness the same way that you hunger for a tasty meal or thirst for that glass of water on a hot, dusty day. Jesus also said several times that he is the bread of life. And if you are thirsty to come to him, he is abundantly generous and wants to give you the Holy Spirit. Jesus also gave his life and the Father gave his only son. They both sacrificed greatly to give us the opportunity to receive the reward of eternal life. God can give eternal life to whomever he desires. However, we do see that throughout scripture that it requires belief in Jesus, obeying his voice, faith, and being a sheep, not a goat, as we have read previous times in Matthew 25. But what did the sheep do that the goats didn't do? They provided for the hungry and thirsty, the homeless, the naked, the sick, and visited those in prison. There is an outward focus of generosity, just as we read in Isaiah 58. So fasting helps us to put physical life into perspective, and fasting helps us to reset, refocus, and recenter our spiritual perspective to have a mindset of generosity. We may not see an immediate need in front of us now, but our minds and emotions can be prepped through this Day of Atonement and ready to serve when the need arises. So more than likely, an opportunity will, will come up, maybe at the feast in this next week, to help or assist in some way. Even if it is just one person you talk to and maybe give encouragement in some way, Jesus said, if you do this for the least of these, my brethren, then it is the same as doing it for him. Another way to be generous and help others might be financially through donations and offerings, which we will be taking up an offering today. So please raise your hand if you do need an envelope uh, for the offering. But besides offerings, there are many other programs and ways to contribute found on the website on donate.ucg.org. And personally, I do find the website to be very helpful when you need to research a topic or you just want to look something up or listen to a sermon. And apparently other people find it useful as well since there were 6.2 million unique visitors to the website in 2023. A website takes a lot of time and effort to maintain, and that actually a new redesigned website should be up sometime after the feast. You can also contribute to the Good Works Outreach programs, which provide assistance for camps, education assistance, infrastructure projects in other countries, such as wells or church buildings, and even disaster relief aid. So whether you are contributing to meet physical or financial needs, the main spiritual principle is to have a mind and heart full of generosity towards others. This is the fast that God has chosen. <laughs>